Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hmm. Hope oh, you're all very well. That's a good cover today. It's the same as every day. But well, it, it, it's a good strength today. It is. Uh, well, with my overthinking head on now, you've got me thinking about coffee. And I wonder, <laughs> like, like running the tap for 10 seconds or just putting the tap on. I know you should run it a little bit, but I also don't like wasting water. How much those tiny variations of five and a half scoops of coffee to five, because we have a machine, um, make a difference to the flavour. I don't have a delicate palate. This is one of the things about me. This may come as a surprise. Shocker. But I don't have a really that much of a delicate, unless it's cuddling the kids, that much of a delicate bone in my body. So when it comes to eating, I want, if you're drinking a gin and tonic, basically, if you can't taste the gin, it's not strong enough. That's my <laughs> motto, right? So when it comes it's to good, cooking. It's a good motto. It is. But when like, you're watching MasterChef and they're like, hmm, undertones of nutmeg, I'm like, no idea. Absolutely would be wasted on me, you know. I went to a Michelin star restaurant. I'm a heathen. I went to a Michelin <laughs> star restaurant. Once. I'm a heathen. I am though when it comes to these things. Well, I'm not, but I am. And, and, and I was like, yeah, it's all right. It's all right. However, best meal out we've ever had? Uh, the, 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 the hut? Oh no, I was going with River Cottage. Oh, yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> we, um, was that a present? I can't remember. It doesn't really matter. We had one of their sort but of. It was one of our birthdays. We went, I mean, we used it in the September, but for their harvest one. Yeah, but they do like an evening thing and it's communal. I mean, this is years at ago. At the farm, not the restaurant. Yeah, at the, at, at the original, at the cottage. This is six years ago. Lily Rose was not even one, was she? And um, yeah, hopefully it's still got the same standards, but they decide what to cook that day based on what's grown or in the garden. Anyway, what are we talking? We're not talking about River Cottage today. Although, now, Although it would be a good example of online We were meant to go present. in April, the bloody lockdown. Yeah, we were. We were going with our very good friends, Alan and Sue. Yes, that is his name. He was my best man. I was his best man. Alan and Alan. Alan and Alan. And Alan B and Alan C was always the other thing that amused us. Yeah, in jokes, obviously. Right, what are we talking about uh, today? We were going to talk about koala marketing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Kaylee, absolutely lovely Gem. lady, Jem, uh, invited us onto her new podcast. We were episode two, mm. which came out this week. And it is called, because I will get the, this wrong. Creative Genius Not. Not. Which is a brilliant name, in my opinion, for a, a podcast title. Um, and it's all for creatives... In the, in the creative industry who are you know, try, trying to get ahead and what they're doing and, and our episode was all about <laughs> the struggle is real I think it should have been called balancing family life and and work which well are, you see how we cope with that we don't balance it that's the funniest well, thing what well, I think is funny is people think we have this harmonious balance right and the reality is we fight fires from 5 a.m. <laughs> to when they're asleep which is about seven right so for what's that 14 hours a day we, they're not all up at five, that's not fair. But we literally fight fire from about 5am and, and, and somehow we, we kind of vaguely make it look okay. Parents would tell a different story. Pa our parents get the brunt of it every Perhaps day. Perhaps we should get them to all record vlogs one day. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, the real yellow tuxedo. My, my mum and dad yesterday were like literally just trying to give me virtual hugs through the phone going, what are they doing? As I'd one jumped on my head, one nearly like nutted me in the face, one was crying on the floor and I'm like, just get me out of here. Yeah, it was prime time. It was like six o'clock. Oh, it's it? that witching yeah. hour. I don't like that phrase. I don't, don't care. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to say the new normal and pivot and all these other things. So you're not allowed to say witching hour. Okay. Right. The time between not quite dinner and going to bed. Well, it's that. It's not. I'll tell you why it's not called the witching hour because when we go to bed about half nine, come about nine, half I'm, nine. I'm, I'm a bit tired and grumpy. So the kids are allowed to be tired and grumpy. I was not in bed at half past nine. No, last night was late for us. Quarter past ten. <laughs> right. Koala marketing. <laughs> anyway, we went, we went live with them on. Was it, I don't know what day of the week Mo it was. Oh, it's Monday. So we went, Monday she launched that. Launch was really good, and it was lovely to speak. Number one, it was lovely to speak to someone else who works in our industry, and they un completely understand where we're coming from, what we're doing, how we're growing, and stuff. Um, but it was a really good conversation about um, well, everything we've talked about in our vlog, really, for the last few weeks, few weeks, months now. Ooh. This is um, sixty-two. Sixty-two. Blimey. We're trying to work out whether we carry on to a hundred of a past a hundred. I think this is one of those vlogs that basically the journey, the story is going like this right now. So we were back, it's about the third time we're going to come back to Koala Marketing. Anyway, it was a pleasure being on Kaylee's podcast. Thank you very uh, much for podcast. having us. Uh, we will link to Koala Marketing below. And it was obviously. A and uh, credit where credit's due. 
it was produced and edited really, really, really well. And I loved listening to the beginning and the intros and stuff. So if you do fancy a new podcast to listen to, I would thoroughly recommend listening to, to Kaylee. It was a really good yeah. episode. Well, it, it, the episode was great because we were in it, but it, the entire concept's great. Yeah, and, and I thought the quality was really good as, as it was recorded on Zoom. Bear in mind, we've done a video on how That's to ensure right. good quality whilst recording on Zoom. Kaylee, did you watch that? <laughs> Out of curiosity. Um, <laughs> Um, what else was I going to say? It made me smile because I don't know if you know this. We have a couple of other businesses, Bailey Beltens, the Outside Bride. Don't talk about them ever. No, but under the Outside Bride, we did a podcast in a roundabout way. We did an extraction of audio from a live Q and A session, and basically every single one started with, oh, I've "Got another technical problem. It's not working right, didn't it?" For like months and months, we did this. And there's me listening to like Koala Marketing's Kaylee's podcast and how amazing and succinct it seems. And I've got another friend, Alan Fawcett, Infinite Pie. I tag him as well, actually, because he's just restarted his podcast and has some great guests. And uh, they, they both weave these beautiful podcasts and ours were basically a shambles. However, our shambles <laughs> did get put on a list of top 10 wedding podcasts you need to listen to somehow. High five that, actually. Yeah. Right. Um, we were also going to talk, touch upon today because we it would be stupid not to as we are on countdown to Monday, the launch of the digital set. Yes, I'm scanning for yellow things, but we've got no new yellow things compared to yesterday. It's all in the rest of the house, isn't it? I know. We, need we to all get into this room. We do. Um, today we posted about the juggler. The light just went out. Of course it did. <laughs> of course it did. If you've just noticed, we've gone. We've changed colour. It's because the light went out. Doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> Give us a break. Give someone. us a break. You can't say that. We, we don't need a break. Everything's fine, but that is funny. Right. Today we posted about the juggler and the juggler being representative of the fact that we have loads of balls in the air as business owners and we're always sort of feeling that we are, you know, have a thousand things to do at once. And the quote I referenced in the post today pretty much said that it's an illusion. Juggling is an illusion. And I loved it because basically, Juggling is an illusion because at some point every single ball has to retouch your hand to be thrown back in the air. So it's not about having all the balls in the air at the once. It's about multitasking just really damn fast. Um, and I love I love that as an analogy because actually when you take step yourself away from the fact that everything's up and you can't do anything about it, every single thing that you have, you have the power to throw back in the air and and and, and to re reinvigorate and redo. Uh, but it's just about making sure that that time management's right, making sure that everything is precise and clean and make sure that everything works together to make sure that that juggling act stays as a juggling act and you don't throw the balls to the floor. And I yeah. really, I thought that was actually quite a, re a really good quote that really kind of represented what we're talking about. Um, and that's something we are going to touch upon on the digital circus. We're going to be looking at productivity with your um, online online stuff, making sure that you can be slick, making sure you can be succinct, making sure that everything happens the right way without making your life even more complicated, giving you another ball to put in that pot of things that are going to be throwing up into the air. And um, yeah, we're excited, aren't we? Right, oh, I said so it! Okay. No, I know, that Dang. is on the... the anyway, let's, let's draw a line under there today. Yeah. So yes, these are circus coming Monday, Koala Marketing below, Infinite Pie below, Alan. And another Alan. That's three Alans in today's podcast. Apparently podcast po vlog. Are you all the same age? Are you not even all the same age, are you? No, I'm the youngest out of the three. Just say it wasn't like a, a popular year. Like, would, would Alan ever be a popular name? Isn't it oh. like Gary slowly dying out? We love you, Gary. We're, yeah, we have a friend, a very good friend called Gary. But uh, wasn't that on the list of names slowly dying out a couple of years ago? Mm -hmm. We can check that. Anyway, have a good day. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh, too high. Oh, too high. I've had pains in this, on my head for the last several weeks, and like now I'm thinking there's something sinister going on because that's what you do, isn't it? You go, oh my god, a brain tumor. Shall I add this one on at the end? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, hold on. Good morning. Let's just start again, very quickly. I'm gonna, I will add it on the end. <laughs>